I prefer sports coaching because I've always coached since I was 16. I've worked in a sports centre, my local sports centre, coaching children from the ages of 5 to 14. So here at Anglo Ruskin University we've got a, a lot of expert academics uh, that draw upon their experiences from different levels, so working right the way through from grassroots up to international level of sport. Having worked at Northampton County Cricket Club, so as a strength and conditioning coach for their academy, that obviously gives me experience within the field, so I can bring a practical experience towards all the theory that the students study. So one of my lecturers, Anna, she played for women's the Six Nations rugby, and I think that's really incredible, like, it's such a good accomplishment. She brings that coaching that she's done from that, brings that into our lectures. We start off in our first year with more theoretical aspects, so you're really going into depth of what makes a good coach. Then in our second year, it becomes much more applied and you get real experience working with different organisations to practice your coaching or practice your teaching skills in the real world with real people. I've learned lots of different coaching styles, so I've learned different ways to coach children and I have put that into practice back at home when I've gone home. Then in our final year, it becomes more about helping other people to develop those skills as a coach or as a teacher. We now have an opportunity to have a research-centred undergraduate project or a more employment-focused one where they'll go out for a full year, go into an organisation and try and work out what that organisation needs and develop a product. They've done all sorts of placements, so they've been to places like uh, Leicester Tigers Rugby, uh, they've also been involved in many local schools, also the council. Street Games is one of the unique opportunities that we have here and that's integrated into a second year sports development module whereby students go into the community and actually do 10 hours of placement volunteering for the local community to deliver sport initiatives for those who are disadvantaged. Well, the majority of our students once they graduated go into either a teaching or a coaching role directly which means either doing the PG cert which is a teaching qualification or during their university degree they normally get a qualification as a coach and they go on to work in sports clubs. I love studying in Cambridge, it's brilliant, everywhere's a walking distance and I don't have to worry about having a car. I go out with football, girls a lot of the women's football team here, there's always socials, we're always dressing up. I went to other open days, I didn't like it, I came here and I loved it and went on an application day after that um, and again just fell in love again and I've really enjoyed it. I love playing for AIU. I've been playing for three years now. So it's my first year at uni and I was really lucky to find table tennis and they were looking for like another member to make a team. It's good to be part of a team because you learn how to work with others. It just gets you involved, gets you more into this community. And it's great fun. We have a great team. Being involved in sport at Angle Ruskin has meant everything to me. Joining the team made me feel much more part of university life. Whenever possible we show up to all our matches, we cheer each other on. Our last home match we had 20 people down here to come and watch and everyone just had a really good time, creates the atmosphere. The university is helping us a lot as well. We have new kids, new venue, that's a lot of motivation. It's really good for us. It feels great running around in the uni's colours. <laughs> The whole social side of meeting new new friends, new girls, stuff like that is amazing. So I'm very proud to represent ARU like that. We're like a family here at the Badminton team. You know, you just have that extra support from uni work, just life, anything really. That's really good for someone like me who's a foreigner and is the first time in this country. Like Because I didn't know anyone when I came here. This has been really great. We've had a lot more experienced people joining the teams. New coaches come in and really changed up how we play, so we've been improving. We've had a great turnout, we've kept building and now we're competing at quite a high level. This year has been particularly good because we've had more of a committee set up, so we've been organising more socials. In 
February we brought students up to Bucks Nationals in Sheffield to represent Anglia Ruskin University in swimming, athletics, fencing and judo. I really enjoy it, you, you get the kit and stuff and you, you travel all together as a university, you feel very professional. So Jess Fox took to the track and achieved a season's best in the 60 metres and a personal best in the triple jump. Our judo team continued their success at Bucks Nationals winning seven medals, a highlight is Matea defending his title. To win four golds in a row, it feels great and it was my pleasure, definitely, it was my pleasure. The hockey team have done really well this year. We've won the league. It's been an amazing feeling, especially for most of us which started last year. Women's table tennis team, and we've won the league today. We're really proud of ourselves and our team. We've gone undefeated in the league, and we've also won the cup, so we've done the double this year. And it feels amazing, especially in my last year, to finally win both. For the Bucks League, we ended up second, and we went through the final for National League. We didn't expect any of this. Yeah, it's great to represent the university. It's a good feeling uh, representing these scholars. We wear our sort of uh, logo of pride. It's nice to represent at away games and just feeling quite confident that we represent a good uni. I've absolutely loved playing sports at Anglia Ruskin. Every time I step on court, I feel that the whole university is behind me. We had amazing support from the staff here as well, and it's been an absolute pleasure. I've loved every single minute of it. Sport Exercise Sciences at Anglia Ruskin is, is nearing its 20th year. But we've now got a course that is internationally and nationally recognised. It's a BASES accredited course, which means it's endorsed by the British Association of Sport and Exercise Sciences. We have BASES accredited laboratories. So all of these are designed to support you as a student when you come and study with us in Cambridge. Just coming here in general has been really, really good. You know, the lecturers here massively helpful, always free to help out. We take everything we do in the lecture theatres and we go straight into the labs and we can get them to use some of the most high-tech equipment to explore different concepts such as forces and kinematics of movement and things like that. I started work as a PT teaching classes then eventually I decided that I needed more of a challenge and I decided to do a degree on it. I do like that I have a lot more knowledge now to bring it on and actually maybe teach people a little bit of what happens in the body when we exercise. We now have an opportunity to have a research centred undergraduate project or a more employment focused one where they'll go out for a full year, go into an organisation and try and work out what that organisation needs and develop a product. We've taken the initiative of setting up, I believe, uh, the UK's first student-led consultancy service. Public members will book in for a test to come here. Our students deliver the testing, provide feedback to the clients, including a report, and use the, the service to try and benefit their training and their advancement of their own exercise. It's given me valuable experience uh, working in the labs, working with all the equipment, and working with athletes, and also prepared me for work outside of university. So upon graduation, our students have moved into careers in strength and conditioning, performance analysis. We've got students who have gone on to be physiotherapists, sports science officers, as clinical cardiac, respiratory, muscle physiologists. The internships they offer every year, as well as the sports massage modules, in addition to the uni courses they offer as well. So I've actually been offered a number of placements and internships. I was a lab assistant for a number of projects for master students and a number of projects for PhD students, helping them out with their studies. It's an incredibly applied course. The fact is you're in Cambridge where we've got these extraordinary links of contacts that allow you to get all this experience and set you up perfectly for the big world. It is an absolute pleasure to study at ARU um, with the wealth of experience and the knowledge gained.